Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription in Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get us a new run started. I'm going to stick with the Mantis God and Ringworm combo once again. And we've got to try to get 80 points. 80 points. So, I'm thinking about single candle this time, and maybe doing something like this, but... I'd like to remove maybe the boss totems instead and go with these guys. Um, and hmm, maybe tip scales instead would be better. But that would mean we have to get 10 more points, and I don't like that. So let's check it out. Um, let's just try it this way one more time. Still a pretty rough run, and if we don't make it with this one, Maybe I'll swap out the uh, single candle for tip scales instead. Pricey pelts is always a pain though. I wish that I could buy a plentiful amount of things, but that's the way it goes. Oh, let's see. Let's get the beaver and um, how about the ant queen? I wonder if I got those at the two dams with spawn and worker ant cards. I'm not positive, but it seems like a possibility. Alright, let's flame a ringworm and see if we can get um, into the season the second time. Oh, here comes our ultra ringworm. Here, watch out. It's gonna be a terrible rash. And we have just a single candle too, so this will be an interesting run. Oh, Pro Porsche. Thanks for following. Good to meet you. Okay, we'll put down this guy and block off. I guess I should have went in front of the porcupine actually. That would have been a better spot. 22nd follower. That is so cool. 22 is a magical number. Okay, let's see. Alright, we beat him. So, if we got the beaver down, we could do a tiny bit of excess damage. Yeah, just some tea. I think it'll be three, or actually two. Yeah. That'll help us out with the, the pricey pelt situation. And I want to try. That's worth something, I guess. Oh, metal. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Metal inside of your inscription? And uh, metal is, I'm not sure I understand. Okay, let's see. There we go. Metal spice for a turn. Good. I'm still tempted to do the dam on the Ant Queen, see if that pays off or not. Um, but I'm not positive it will. Hmm. 
I think I'll go for it. It'll be interesting to try it out. Let's get us a bone card. Oh, good. An auto deploy. Always love that ability. We use the beaver's dam building to uh, make the ant queen have, I believe, dams that will um, spawn ants. I'm not 100% positive it will do that, but we're going to find out soon enough. We could get two ants, and actually a third ant, I guess, um, possible with the dam building. That would be fantastic. And we can put our mantis god down in the right spot to uh, take out our wolf cub when the time is right. It's going to move over, so I'd rather put it a lane further away. Oh, and of course, a wolf is going to come in. But we do have corpse maggots, so um, that will get deployed soon enough, and we will be in a good situation there. In fact, we're just going to be one hit away from um, winning, so I think that we actually don't have to worry about anything now. We get revenge on our wolf here with our ring one. Show him who's the real boss. Okay, I see uh, you did a translation, and... Um, welcome to the stream. I have a lot of respect for Ukraine and their current, you know, efforts to repel Russia. So I'm honored by your, um, coming to my humble stream. Let me check out your translation here and I'll see if I can find the meaning. Um, one moment. Okay, so I'm not sure. Maybe it was middle, as in the uh, middle section, perhaps? Okay, let's see where we go now. We'll get a Sadara Wolf and head up to the Sigil. We'll take airborne just in case. Okay. save up for our dire wolf, so I think I'll do that instead. Alright. Still aren't quite ahead yet to be able to play our dire wolf. We'd have to have one more turn, but I think that we can take the cost. Alright, now we can get our dire wolf on the board. And let's see, we have a ringworm and a squirrel. I think we will keep things as they are, because the pack mule is going to come block the carry. Good situation. Um, 
let's see what we can draw from here. Alright, our attacking green worm. Let's go ahead and put it down so that one of these coyotes will uh, pay for it his misdeeds. Okay. And unfortunately, we're going to lose what we had, but we do have the cards from the pack mule to help us in our next part. Just keep saving them. Sacrifice something. Maybe we'll do the corpse maggot so that we can. Oh, well, we'll do both of them because I, I really want to see what happens with the dams. Hey, excellent. It did generate a couple more cans like I thought it might. Um, so I can put another one down, and all of a sudden we've got a pretty powerful situation there. This is an excellent game. It's uh, called Inscription, and I'm currently playing a mode that after you beat the main game, it unlocks a mode called Casey's Mod, and it is a very difficult um, turn-based strategy game with these animal cards. You pay a price with the, these little markers up here that show blood. That is something you have to sacrifice. That many, like this one takes two, and then this one takes bones. And, um, yeah. So let me see if I can adjust my audio just a little bit, and I'll make it easier to understand, hopefully. One moment. Okay, I adjusted it a little bit. It should be a little bit stronger now. Let me uh, choose a card real quick. We'll do an alpha. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see what we can do now. We have several routes here we can go. We can go towards our duplicate process, or we can get some more items. Um, I think that we'll head towards the duplicate so that we can get another Mantis God card. Ooh, and a millworm. That's nice. I think I'll take the corpse maggot so so that we can have auto deploy on something strong. Okay, let's see if we get lucky and we get to make this guy that's a perfect copy. Hey, a two and one. Good. That's an improvement on its attack power. And. Let's see, I think we'll head up this route so that we can try to um, move somebody's sigil onto something else. I think there's a few good options here. We have a bullfrog that's about to come out. A uh, ringworm would unfortunately perish to that, um, but we could get on the board over here and put down the rabbit pelt while we're waiting. And that'll block off the bullfrog its mean attack. Okay, unfortunately we'll lose corpse maggots to the bullfrog since it has sharp quills, but that's okay. Ah, an alpha. Oh man, I wish I'd used the pliers, that would have put me um, even to finish there. So, let's see. Um, we'll go to this
this route and we can buff up our stump and we will go ahead and um, let's see they're going to do two damage I think we have enough that we can let this go forward and we'll be okay because we'll take out the alpha in the next step and our mantis god can take out um, one damage but we don't want to lose it so maybe we'll put them over here to help eliminate that alpha. And oh, hi, Wizard Max. Good to see you. Yes, this is a little bit of a scary game. Um, it's I would say rated maybe uh, teenager years and up. So if it's too scary, uh, like definitely look away. <laughs> yeah, Wizard. Uh, we've had a few new followers come on and Pro Porsche just joined us today. Um, so it's been an exciting time. And here comes a Mantis God with a plus three attack now. Exciting. I bumped up my follower goal from 20 to 25 a few days ago and uh, just so happy to see uh, new people join. It's great to have um, people having fun together. Okay, let's see. I could get a dire roll so that I don't lose um, both of them because I'd like to put that power on, I guess, a stronger Mantis God. So we'll do that here in this next turn. Okay. Now we have a really strong Mantis God here. We'll see another fire event coming up soon that we'll get to uh, try some stuff out on, so that'll be cool. Oh, and some worker ants that we can use to, uh, hmm, fortunately it's going to be a hard one. We don't have enough to deploy our ant queen or our corpse maggots. Um, ooh, that's tough. I think I want to have to pull the tooth to have a chance here. And we will do the ringworm, I guess, in front of this guy and the corpse maggots will come out but unfortunately it won't be able to last another corpse maggots um fortunately this isn't looking good i think that there's going to be too much power on the board yep and we're going to lose it Oh yeah, no problem, wizard. Uh, this has been uh, an exciting uh, time, and it's nice to hear that you were on a vacation. Sounds like a good time. We lost that round, so let's get in another one. And I think that I want to avoid single candle, so we're gonna go with no boss rares, all totem battles, boss totems, and I think that we did these. And uh, I hate to use more difficult. Maybe I'll use tip scales instead and turn off pricey pelts and see how that goes. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm doing well, Wizard. How are you? It's been uh, good weather lately, and I've had a few wins on on here. I'm still trying to get past the 80-point um, difficult match, but doing well. It's just been a uphill battle, but I've enjoyed it. <laughs> 
stick a mud turtle and how about alpha? I'm good to hear you're doing fine. Okay. I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the mud turtle and put it its ability onto the mantis god because I think that would be cool that it could take an additional hit without any penalty. Oh yeah, a Discord server uh, would be fun to host sometime. I've had one with friends in the past, and uh, I've never hosted one for the stream, but I might add that on there someday. It's a good idea to see how easy it is to keep one up, but um, yeah, not a bad idea. I'll think about it. Okay, time for our Mantis guy to go out and take charge. We'll be uh, turning that around now. There we go. We'll just draw from here and uh, don't really have enough bones to play anything in particular, so we'll just <laughs> put down the ringworm for fun. And uh, I don't think we'll have enough bones to get us an alpha. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, of course, you're welcome to stay and uh, keep watching. This is a game that um, has some spoilers to it, so you may want to play the. Uh, main story sometime, but you won't have too much ruined uh, just watching this stream because it's a very specific area. Okay, well, this is a good card, an Undying um, Ant, so that'll be a good low cost card to put out. and dying. Cool. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose our... Oh, no. I was gonna say we're gonna lose our Mantis card, but we didn't. So that's good. Okay. Well, we're gonna ring the bell because we'd like to get that excess damage if we can. Oh, it's just evil. I thought we may have got one or two teeth, but maybe not. Alright, I guess let's add... Hmm... Direwolf Pup's ability on something might be nice. Perhaps... Hmm... On the flying ant. This is another insect, but having it be a two-blood could be pretty nice. Okay, let me adjust the audio one more time. I uh, was having a little bit of an issue with that earlier, so one moment.
Okay, is that sounding any better, Wizard? I uh, boosted the microphone and lowered the game audio. Sound any better? Ah, how about this? I just noticed my uh, microphone is uh, the gain had got turned down on the microphone itself, not just in OBS, uh, but also on the hardware. So apologies for that. I must have swiped it and didn't notice. I was wondering why it was uh, quiet today. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we go. Another flying ant coming in. And another one. Wow. He's sending a lot of them after me. <laughs> okay, let's see. I guess we'll go with the three blood. And we get a grizzly. Nice. Alright. A sigil swap. This will be a tough decision since I don't have so many cards to use. Um... Direwolf Pup being put on maybe the Alpha or the Alpha's card being put on the Direwolf Pup for something that would linger for a considerable, considerable amount of time sounds interesting. Um, I am having a hard time making that decision. Maybe we'll do the Direwolf Pup on the Alpha because at four bones for its cost. Um, that sounds interesting, so not my favorite time to make a sacrifice since we had so few cards, but we gotta go with it, I guess. Um, I don't know if the ringworm gets any better, unfortunately, um, but I have been using it to, um, currently... I've been using it to do um, getting rid of the fireplace event. So if you use it twice, sometimes the uh, guys will attack you and you'll lose a card, but it poisons them. And so you can use the fire um, from then on. And so um, sometimes it works out really nicely and it happens early on in the game. Okay. So we have a ringworm that can um, generate his cards. All right, kingfisher and a worker ant. So not a whole lot to go with, um, but we do have the alpha, and we'll generate enough bone with the smoke that we can get the alpha on the board too, and even the ringworm, um, which might be overextending myself a little bit. But with tip scales on, it won't be horrible. Okay. Um, so, I guess let's draw from this pile. And we get a grizzly. We'll let them take our ringworm if they dare. But they won't be able to get it. Okay. And now in this turn, I'm going to do... It's hopefully the smart thing, and we'll get rid of all three of them, and we'll put down our grizzly. And our grizzly is going to get us um, plus four, and we don't have to worry about getting anything else on the board. Okay, there we go.
Okay, here we go. Yep, it would be great to hit um, 50 followers someday. Um, uh, let's see, I think I started around October of last year. So I think it is um, possible, you know, we'll hit 50 someday. It's definitely gone further than I ever expected being at 22 already. So it's been really nice. Okay, so here is a fire event. We can go up to it and try to flame one of our ringworms away. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, let's see. How about we go with a canine? After this game, I... I'm not sure what I want to play next. Um, perhaps something like, ooh, I kind of don't want to miss that. So I'm going to do the Mantis God just once and we'll back away. Um, after this game, I'm thinking about maybe Buddy Simulator or um, let's see, I think maybe God of War came to PC. I've never played the God of War games, but I'm interested in trying them. And uh, maybe that, I think one of the Spider-Man games came as well, but I have to wait and see. There's so many good choices out there. Okay. Let's see. Um, I think it would be good to get us a worker ant down and uh, have it start hitting over there and unfortunately they're going to do a lot of damage so I'm not positive how this will turn out but we'll see okay let's pull a card from over here and Fortunately, we just do not have the points we need to uh, stay on the board. So I'm going to use the pliers to pull out my teeth and I will do a card cutting so that we have a chance of staying alive. Okay. Let's see, I think that's all we can do for the moment. Oh wow, three cards in one turn? That's uh, disturbing. Wow. I mean, I can send out the Bloodhound, but it isn't gonna block anything. Um, yeah, I think even with playing all those cards, I'm unfortunately going to uh, lose this round. Um, well, that is, well, the worker ant can be sacrificed again, so let's just try sacrificing it. And we will put down our bloodhound. And uh, we don't have enough for the cockroach, unfortunately, but I don't think that we're going to be able to uh, prevent this damage anyways. Yep. This is going to be probably too close. So let's try getting another worker ant down and we should be able to play the cockroach too, but I don't think it's going to be enough to stop it. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. Now, what can we get going? We have a fungus event, but only our ringworms are duplicates, so that's not very useful. Um, we don't have a lot of teeth either, but there is a event there. Now, I could put the cockroaches undying on something else, like say the bloodhound or the grizzly, 
Um, but I think auto deploy might be better there, so. Huh. I guess let's go up this way and we'll try to get us a Mantis God duplicate and a single fur here. I do think that there's a chance that um, the time at which, you know, I'm playing games, I'm playing from America, it's uh, the evening for me, but some people, you know, stay up late at night too, so it's a good time to uh, turn on a stream, you know, if you're in the European time zones, so I bet that that's just a, a good time to be watching. Okay, let's see, a pronghorn. We will put our mantis god squarely in front of it so that we can get a hit, and when it moves over, we should be able to hit it again. I think that we should probably win, or be very close to winning anyways. Okay, oh, I forgot it was waterborne, so that's not good. Um, let's draw a, s a squirrel. Oh, and the elk fawn is incoming too. That's not ideal. So S tier rank, uh, it's kind of a um, funny name that I came up with one day with um, just looking at, you know, those um, ranking charts where people rate things um, by how much they like it, like they rank it a, B, C, D, and then if it's at the very top, it's a uh, S tier. So I just use that as uh, inspiration for the name S tier rank. So being ranked at the very highest, it was kind of a kind of a joke because I see a lot of streamers that take things really seriously. But I'm, um, as, as you've seen, a pretty casual game player. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We'll do four power and see how it goes. Thank you. Um, yeah, I uh, I definitely, um, you know, just want to have fun and enjoy what we're doing, you know. Oh, let's see. A worker ant that spawns ants. Ant has bees within. That could help the ant army out quite a bit. The direwolf pup that could auto deploy and is a burrower. Burrower might be a risk though. I think that we'll go with the ant. Okay. I don't want to make a sacrifice right now, but it looks like when I have to. Um, could make a undying rabbit pelt. That would be funny. Um, maybe a undying bloodhound would make sense since it's a lower cost. I'm hesitant to put it on the grizzly. Um, just because it's so powerful and I'd rather have it auto deploy if anything. Okay, so we've got Wriggling Tell to deal with on our canines. Um, that'll make getting rid of the wolf cub difficult, um, but not impossible. We could go after this possum and in the next turn get us something else. Um, but let's do our worker ant and we will put down the rabbit pelt over here in anticipation of um, that wolf cub moving over here in a moment. Okay, good. So we have enough that we can get our undying bloodhound on the board. And we have a bee that has um, ants within it and scavenger. That's cool. So let's see. We could play this down and that gives us another worker ant. And we can get another worker ant. And suddenly we have a lot of power on the board. 
There we go. Alright, what else do we have? Okay, now what routes can we go? There is a duplicate or a fungi event. We could have a worker ant that produces undying, ant spawning, and um, bees within. That's pretty powerful. Um, okay, well, thanks for joining, joining us, Pro Porsche, and we'll uh, catch you another time. Have a good evening. Let's see, there's also a... I don't have enough for two duplicates unless we want to get rid of the ringworm combo there. Um, so let's do... I guess we'll do items. Okay. And... We'll do another three blood, just to see what we get. Oh, great white. Those are usually pretty good. All right, let's see. I guess we will take the, uh, deer or the pronghorn but we'll stick with our current sigil setup okay sharp quills and Let's see, we have ringworms, but nothing to do here. Um, do you have a boulder we can throw down? And I'm tempted to say, let's just go with that, because we're, we're going to have to get some damage on the board to stay in a chance. So let's buy some time by using the boulder. Okay, and... Let's see, our uh, Great White could get deployed now um, if we had that slot open up, but unfortunately we won't. The uh, bad situation is I think that I'm going to have to use scissors, but maybe not. Um, I do need to let this boulder get destroyed or else we'll be in trouble. So. Let's play a ringworm to prevent damage, and then we'll use the squirrel. We'll pick up another squirrel in the next hand. There we go. And now we can start um, doing some damage. So the wolf is going to do three, but I can put down the great white, but the pack mule is going to be a problem. Um, and the, the Great White can actually take out the entire wolf lane in one hit. But I think it will die because of the sharp quills that are on both of them. Um, so let's do a scissor cut on the coyote. And we will... Let's see how far away we, on this are we. I think we will have to play the Great White and then just take the extra hit. Um, comes with it because well actually we do need to worry about this wolf too so because they're going to hit that boulder um might just have to use scissors so let's let's play over here to start okay now let's uh look at using our other pair of scissors there we go Okay, and our great white is coming back out. Good. And it should be able to survive our wolf cub 
attack, but it is going to use sharp quills, so that's the main problem. I think we're going to have to put down our mantis god here to assist a little bit. It's unfortunate because it will get striked by the prospector and we'll lose it here in a moment. Okay. Wow, this is a uh, crazy event here. So we can put down an adder or how about a bat since it uses bone and is airborne. That'll uh, like exam or uh, take some of the damage for us. There we go. We lost our mantis god due to the sharp quills, but oh well, say lovey. All right, we have adders and the mantis, and fortunately the mantis would die to the canines. So let's see what we get from here. A work ant, good. Let's go over here and uh, spawn us another ant, and that gives us enough to put four damage on the board in one turn. I don't think they'll be able to recover from this. Ah, so close to having something uh, that could take out one of these guys in a hit, but we would need one more squirrel. Oh, balloons, uh, tower defense. I played um, several of those games. I don't think I played six yet, but uh, yeah, that's a good game. I like that game a lot too. I just saw your message about it. That's a great game, actually. Very difficult. Okay. Let's see. I feel like making a card sacrifice may be a good idea. Um, we do need items, too. But I really don't want to miss our... Uh, getting a sigil, so I think that we'll head this way and maybe we'll get items later. So there's also a cave event and those are usually really important. Alright, let's do three sigils. Wow, we passed that one with flying colors. Ooh, a wolverine that's a dam builder and has touch of death. Um, that would get powered up quickly, so I'm tempted to use it. Um, yeah, I want to go with it. That might be a really hard to stop Wolverine with that kind of power. Okay. Okay, similar story. Let's just stick with what we have with our insects here, and maybe that'll help get the uh, Wolverine and stuff on the board. see a moose buck. Unfortunately, it'd take out my mantis god. That's a hard hit, um, but it is going to move to the right, so if I start off kind of over here, we'll be okay, but I do need to just get uh, six on the board to win, so I think that mantis god's going to win right away, and it did. Good. Okay. Now, sigil swaps, so should we use that anywhere? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I really have enough to make it worth it. So let's head up to the fire just in case there is something we need up there. Okay, um, let's go with this one has card counter, so maybe it'll be strong. All right, plus two on health. Let's see, who could use some health now? Perhaps. Hmm, I feel like it's a little bit late in the game to worry about the ringworms. So maybe I'll do it on one of my mantis gods so that it has a chance of surviving. With three health, that's pretty good. Plus it has the little shield ability. Um, so I think it, it could work out. Uh, 
Okay. Um, card counting, and if we played it, it'd be two damage. So we could take out the porcupine, but I think we need to go after the ravens instead. And yeah, we'll go with this to start. Okay. Unfortunately, they might beat me on this hand. It's uh, looking a little bit dire already. Um, let's see what we get from this one. A ring worm. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so that's officially not good, but we should be able to take out this column and get three damage in the next turn, if not more. Mushroom and combined mantis gods. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I may do that. That would be really powerful. Okay. Let's see if we can get our Bloodhound on the board. Although I have the ability to do four damage now, so maybe I should just let that, that go since I have the card counting ability. Okay. And let's see. Hopefully I'll get this. Oh, Grizzly. Okay. Still can't play that, unfortunately. And they're going to do, let's see, three damage. And I won't get anything. So if I could block the Porcupine, they'd only do two damage. But that's still too much, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I, I think I might have to lose this round by the look of things. Um, the Bloodhound is unable to guard against aerials, so that's the big problem we're facing here. Um, now, there's a, some way I could get a little damage on the board. I could turn it around, but I don't think I can. So we'll just let the turn run out and we'll lose our first candle. Okay. I could combine my Mantis Gods, but they're both independently powerful, so I'm tempted instead to sacrifice my Ringworm so that I have less likelihood of drawing one of them. And um, then, let's see, what else could I do? If I combine the, Mush the Mantis Gods, they definitely would be just about unstoppable, though, so... Maybe I should go that route, because um, if I could get it, I would be in a really nice place. Uh, let's see. We'll do the reptile. There we go. Oh, and I just saw a uh, combination up further ahead, so we could put our Mantis God um, combination to work up there. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is, uh, this will be pretty great if I get to draw the card. That's my only fear is that I'll draw ringworms instead. Um, so that'll make it harder to cover if so. Ah, wild bull. That's not good. It's already putting us at a pretty severe disadvantage. Um, Worker Ant can survive a turn over here, though, so I think that's our only choice to begin with. That Wild Bull is going to put us right in the pit. Okay. Um, the Mud Turtle could take on the Wild Bull, however, and we'd have to get rid of our um, Worker Ant, though, and, and put us awfully close to losing, so... That's unfortunate, but the Bloodhound is unkillable, so we could take out both the Wild Bull and the Porcupine, or at least prevent the damage from the Porcupine, so... Oh, it didn't do party, and I forgot. It only moves. Okay. Um, something new is put in front of it. That's alright. So, let's go with... I guess drawing from here, and we'll get our Worker Ant back on the board 
and uh, hold off from there. Okay. Let's draw from over here. Oh, great. We got our Mantis God. Thank goodness. Um, we really need that power. So let's take it and... Um, well, now I can't see where I'm playing, so hopefully that was a safe spot. And I don't think it was. Um, and I don't, I don't think I can solve that now. I may have just lost the game for myself. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, I think it was a safe spot. Okay, I just had a little bit of a fear that I made a mistake. <laughs> okay. So there's another porcupine coming and a wild bull. So let's put a undying worker ant down to uh, block this path from the wild bull. And also help out the mantis god with getting some more attack power there. There we go. Well, you made the right call suggesting the mantis god combo there. Um, wizard, that, that was definitely the right way to go. Thank you for that. I think that won the game for us today. Ooh, nice. Really turned it around. Okay. Let's go with the dire wolf. Here's a duplication event, and uh, we could duplicate our Mantis God again and have yet another strong one. Um, I'm tempted to do, let's see, what could we do? A four and four, we could have like an eight and eight one, or we could have something else really powerful like an alpha that's a uh, two and four, or a mud turtle that's four and four. There's uh, several, several good ways here. Um, I think I'll go with the worker ant so that I can have one that has a sigil and combine it with this worker ant. Um, it's a little bit of a weird play, but assuming that it's a good copy, oh, and it's a bad copy, that's okay. Um, I will still combine them up and we'll have a good time here. Hopefully it'll give me the option, but it depends on which one it picks for me. Okay, um, this is fine. This is actually just fine. I'm happy with them either way. Just having a worker ant that has the touch of death ability is good. And a three sigil worker ant, that's pretty fantastic. So if I can get it on the board, I'll be in a good place. Okay, we got our undying um, worker ant that also has bees within and um, spawns ants. So it's got a little bit of everything we would like to have. Um, fortunately, this, these strange frogs have fledgling, so we kind of need to knock them out quickly. So let's do this. And um, I don't have items either, so I'm in a particularly vulnerable spot. Um, Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so if I play this correctly, we should be able to get two more worker ants on the board, and that'll be enough power to overwhelm these strange frogs. So let's do it. And it's undying, so hopefully that means we'll get it back. Um, there we go. And I think that I just unlocked basically uh, really good path for uh, filling up our board here um, without a problem. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Um, yeah. I think there's no stopping that. Good grief, we're going to generate so many bones, it's going to be wild. Okay, and 
let's start drawing from this pile because um, we actually want to build up our fort here a little bit before we get um, ahead of ourselves. So let's do another round now that we have our um, dire wolf. We can now start using our kind of busted deck here to uh, keep building out. And we will do it again so that we can get our dire wolf. Okay. And I think I would rather have it than the great white, but I just realized it's going to die anyway, so we're kind of uh, wasting time here. <laughs> so let's just put it, we'll put it down and I'll stop playing around here in a second. <laughs> okay, I was just having fun with that. Look at all those bones, it's so funny. coming after us. Oh, but we can play our Wolverine. Cool. Nice. Okay, time to trade. So let's take out Moosebuck. The dire wolf. I think the turkey vulture sounds like a good one. And how about this wolverine, river snapper? Here we go. I don't think we have anything to fear now. On oh, elder, what? Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't even think about that Lammergeier. Oh my goodness, that, oh, that was a burn. Wow. I wish I could undo that. <laughs> oh man, that is, that is a pain to remember. I, I can't believe uh, that it did that. I thought that, I know, yeah, isn't that uh, unbelievable? So I thought the Lammergeier only applied to like bones that you know the other side has so it takes half the number of bones and that's its damage but I thought that only applied to me and not to you know Leshy um wow I I didn't see that coming I I didn't see it on the board either so um wow I'm kind of stunned because I had a, a hand that was unbeatable, but I did not see that coming. <laughs> oh well, that all that is another lesson learned. If I see a Lamer guy, or I need to be paying attention to the bones that I'm holding because apparently that is a very deadly mistake. Man, I learned something new every time I play this game. That's part of what keeps me coming back to it. I think. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll credits, and we'll say thanks for watching. This has been S-Tier Rank. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S-Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.